After selling millions of dollars worth of our own online products online and having spent well over half a million dollar on paid softwares and tools, in this video, I'm gonna give you the top 15 softwares and tools, plugins, downloadables that I use on a weekly or a daily basis. These are tools that I use to maximize my productivity, tools that I use to be able to sell more stuff online, tools to make sure that my emails are going to the primary inbox, tools to design things better for my websites, my funnels. My goal with this video is to give you 15 of the best tools in less than 15 minutes. I have just two rules I'm gonna follow. The first rule is that they must be tools that I use on a weekly or daily basis. These aren't kind of nifty tools that I might use once a month, once in a blue moon. If I don't use it every single day or every week, they did not make this list. The second rule is these must be tools that almost all of you have not heard of. This isn't ChatGPT. I'm not talking about Canva. These are tools that even I did not know of even after years of selling many millions of dollars worth of product online. And with that being said, let's start the timer. Boom, 15 tools, here we go. Tool number one is Postmaster dot google dot com. I only found this out after spending $15,000 to hire an email marketing consultant. This tool, after putting your DNS records into it, is a tool directly from Google that tells you what your email reputation is and allows you to check your spam or complaint rates. Once you have this open, I sort this by the last 120 days. And the first thing I look at almost every single week is my domain reputation. If this is at high, like mine is right now, you can be ensured that your emails have the highest possible chance of landing in the primary inbox. Why is that important? Because emails equal money. Every Black Friday, we do over half a million dollars in sales in one week. And almost all those sales come from an email blast. So yes, because emails are a money printing machine, you better make sure they're going to the right inbox. Likewise, you can check your spam rate right here. Generally speaking, anything above 0.3% is too high of a spam rate. What's a spam rate? It's when somebody marks your email as spam. If your domain reputation looks like this and it's at medium or low or bad, your emails are likely going to promote or spam. If your screen looks like this, that's actually a good sign. It means you're not even sending enough emails to be on Google's radar at all, and you have nothing to worry about. Tool number two is called Video Speed Controller. Okay, this one is actually really interesting. My best friend showed this to me, and I had no idea what I was missing out on. I use this probably 15 to 20 times a day because I watch a lot of content on YouTube, course content, things on Instagram. I watch Loom videos. I watch so many videos across multiple platforms. And this is a plugin on Chrome that once downloaded, when you go to a YouTube video, first and foremost, really cool hack here. You can actually skip past ads. So check this out. I'm watching an ad right here. If I click on G on my keyboard, this ad will skip past 15 times speed and the ad's over. That's just one really cool kind of side benefit. The actual real benefit of this tool right here is when I'm watching podcasts or longer videos, like this one, 18 minutes here, I can play the video, but by clicking D on my keyboard, one, two, three, four, five, I generally go up to 1.5 to 2X speed. I can speed up the video or slow down the video as I like. Tool number three is a productivity tracker. This is actually an in-house tool that my brother Dakota made. And he made this because he read 15 books on productivity. He himself has struggled a lot in the last couple of years of staying focused, getting a lot done. And he made this for himself, for his own needs. But in the process, we just packaged it and nice and pretty for you guys to use for free. You can actually download that. Just let me know where to send it to you in your email. But this actually auto-populates and auto-calculates all of your time allocation. It gives you a weekly report at the end of the week on how you're spending your time. It gives you a daily report. And again, this little wheel down here actually auto-populates according to what you put here in this work log. Gives you a nice visual representation of what your priorities are for that day and the week, different tasks that you have to go through. You create a daily plan of what you plan on sticking to. And then as you're going throughout the day, it's like a clock in, clock out time management system. Again, free to use. You can download that below. Moving on though to tool number four, we have another plugin that's productivity related and that is called Unhook. Now I personally use this for myself. I found that one of my biggest time sinks was I'd open up YouTube and all these recommended videos start popping up. These are videos that you did not intend on watching when you opened up YouTube half the time. But of course, because the algorithm knows you, it's putting lots of juicy stuff here. The temptation is too strong for most of us and we end up clicking. So I love this Chrome extension. You just add it to Chrome right here. Once you're done, when you come back to YouTube, this is what your new home screen looks like. It's so much cleaner. You have no opportunity to bounce around random junk online. You look up the thing you came to YouTube to actually do and you move on in your life. Tool number five is perhaps my favorite tool that I, for the longest time, ignored. People told me about it. It looked a little bit too complex. And so I never touched it, but I'm actually using it right this second. And I did the math. This saves me an average of four and a half to six hours per week 
of my time. This is the one and only software I use to film all of my contents, all of it. My YouTube contents, my course contents, my Instagram reels, TikTok, Facebook, wherever you're posting videos, I record everything from OBS. And here's why. My previous workflow to film content looks something like this. Right now I'm filming on my camera. So I would click record on that camera, which would store the video to the SD card. I would then record my audio on this microphone right here in GarageBand on my computer, another file. And then I would use the in-house Apple screen recorder to record record my screen, the third file. That process of taking the out of camera file, my audio file, the screen recording, putting it in Premiere Pro, syncing up all the audio files, exporting it, would on average take me 15 minutes per video. For a longer video, anywhere up to 20 to 30 minutes. It was wild. To where now I record everything on OBS. This is currently the software I'm filming this video on. I've got some presets here on the left hand side, which allow me to toggle between these left and right hand side bubbles on the screen, which is how I'm able to record this. And then really quickly, come in OBS, switch back to my talking head, and here I am again. And the best part of all this is once I click on stop recording right here, this is saved to one single folder. I click on that file and this one beautiful file is all I need to send to my editors and I'm done. Absolute game changer. I cannot tell you how nice it is to literally save 15 minutes every single time I film anything. Again, a free software. Tool number six is MediaModifier.com. If you look at my website, you're going to see these little product boxes here. These are called mockups in the digital world. And if you want to make that yourself, you normally have to go and use Photoshop, which I absolutely hate Photoshop. Or you go to somewhere like Fiverr and Upwork and hire somebody to do it for you, anywhere from $30 to $100 to do that. But if you'd like to do it yourself, you come into MediaModifier.com and then I just click on the free option right here. You got all sorts of options that you can use for free, where you just grab your logo, logos or other designs, drop them here inside of an iPhone PNG, for example, or an iMac, iPad, all sorts of options. Mockups, in my opinion, are absolutely essential in the digital world because you're trying to sell something that doesn't have a tangible physical thing. In the case of courses, though, it really helps to see a physical representation of what I'm actually buying. And Media Modifier is a great tool for that. But moving on to tool number seven, we have CompressJPEG.com. The main utility here is when you're sending images in an email. But one thing that email providers like Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, all hates is really big file sizes. If you absolutely have to put an image in your emails, first come to something like this, compress the image down to a shareable size, and then upload it to your email sender. We obviously use our software, Course Creator 360, to send all of our emails, but whether you're using ActiveCampaign or MailChimp or whatever, drag your images in here first, compress them, and then put them into your email builder. Tool number eight is the video version of what I just shared for photos, and that is called Handbrake. I actually come from the filmmaking world. My brother is Parker Walbeck. He's got 2 million plus subscribers on YouTube. And for years, I was always downloading, uploading videos for all sorts of things. But as a course creator in specific, I do a ton of video sending, uploading, downloading for my clients, for my employees, for my customers. And it's not super sexy or convenient to send somebody a 50 gigabyte file. So if you want to send a smaller video size, that, in my opinion, does not affect the quality size. It does technically, but it's so minimal that I can't Really tell the difference. Use something like Handbrake. You put your video in here. It compresses it down to a shareable video size. So you can take something from 100 gigabytes all the way down to two or three gigabytes and just makes sharing, uploading, downloading so much faster. I use this all the time. Next, before I get into tool number nine, there is one single tool that is paid in this entire video. And that is our very own Course Creator 360. I cannot make a video about tools and softwares if I don't at least mention this. Collectively across all of our personal courses, we have sold $25 million in courses. And in that process, we have used software Softwares like Kajabi, System.io, ClickFunnels, ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, WordPress, School.com, Samcart, Kartra, you name it. We have tried almost everything out there. And when I say tried, I mean, we have sold six and sometimes seven figures with those softwares. But the biggest problem with all these softwares is it leads to a disease I call software stacking. None of these softwares did everything I needed them to do, which led to having a Kajabi subscription and a MailChimp subscription and a Zapier subscription to where our monthly bill was $5,000 a month. So if you're looking to replace all these softwares you're seeing on your screen here. But way more importantly, if you want all the templates that we have used to build funnels, websites, all the backend automations, the email templates we send, all the forms, the surveys that we have used in the last eight years of selling over $25 million in online courses, you can click below this video, join Chorus Creator 360 on a one month free trial and get the ultimate all in one software for you to create, market and sell your own online course. But let's come back here. Tool number nine that I use on a daily or weekly basis is MailGenius.com and specifically their spam tester. 
super cool software. You just grab this email they give you, you send them an email, and after you click on see your score, it's gonna give you a report of how likely your email is to go to spam. It's gonna tell you things like whether or not your domain is on a blacklist. Things like DMARC and DKIM, which 90% of you have no idea what that even is. But as of February, 2024, Gmail made a very big shift that actually requires these two DNS records to be put into the back end of your DNS before you send emails. Otherwise, again, you're gonna have a high chance of going to spam. And speaking of DNS, we actually set up all of those records for you if you join Course Create 360. We do it in about 30 minutes. These are little tedious technical things that most of you just do not wanna to have to even think about. And that's exactly why we do it for you. Which perfectly goes into tool number 10, which is what is my DNS.net? I use this way more than most of you ever will. So I do use this on a weekly basis, but this shows you what DNS records are live inside of your accounts. For example, that DMARC setting I talked to you about earlier that is now required if you're sending emails to anybody, type in underscore DMARC dot your domain name right here, change this to TXT and then click search. And if you're not seeing all these beautiful green check marks right here on the right hand side, your emails are in big trouble. So you do have to add a DMARC to your DNS settings. If you don't know how to do that, again, you can join our software, we do it for you. We make sure that your emails have the highest probability of going to the primary inbox. Next, we've got tool number 11, and this one is kind of a mixture of paid and free. This tool is called elfsites.com, and the use case for the software or tool is for those of you who are creating funnels, landing pages, websites, like I am on a daily or weekly basis. And there's a bunch of just little widgets and stuff that really make and enhance your overall funnel and website that you can custom code if you know how to code. But if you don't, these are some really, really nice plugins to put on your page. Things like pretty looking countdown timers, this Instagram feed code that you can just put on on your page and it will look just like this on your website. A review tool that looks like this and you can put this on your website and people can just go between Google, Facebook, TripAdvisor, Amazon, and whatever other places you have reviews so they can quickly get a grasp of things. Tons of use case scenarios here if you find the utility for it. Again, some of these are paid, some of these are free, which brings up a great honorable mention, which is commonninja.com. The same exact thing as elfsite.com. This one is almost exclusively paid though, and it is a monthly subscription. But again, tons of really cool tools and widgets and you can take a look yourself. Tool number 12 is remove.bg. This stupidly simple little tool, I was very surprised at how often I actually use this for myself, will remove backgrounds from any of your images. It automatically detects what is the foregrounds or the subject of the image and then removes the backgrounds, turning it into a transparent PNG. So for example, I've got this picture of myself. I'm gonna drag and drop that into remove.bg. The magic is gonna start here. And oh my goodness, take a look at that. Now some images are harder than others. It does a really Really good job though. I click on download right here and now I've got myself a PNG file. Now I could, for example, come into the funnel builder inside of Chorus Creator 360. I can add an image, grab that PNG file, and these transparent background photos look very, very clean on websites like you're seeing here, but I also use them on mockups like I showed you previously. Tool number 13 is perhaps, no, it is the most used tool I have on this entire list and that is loom.com. Now, while many of you have heard of this before, it is so used by me on a frequent daily basis that it had to make this list. And it does in fact have a free option. I am on the paid one. I think it's a no brainer, but loom.com allows me to record videos that look something like this. Alrighty. Where similar to OBS, where I can have my video, my audio and the actual screen recording here on the right hand side, this turns it into a shareable link. So I grab this link right here. I send this over to my team. I use it to train employees. I use it for customer service. I use it for SOPs. There are so many use case scenarios here. So much so that if you look at my usage here, I started using Loom about a year and a half ago. I have 2,987 videos filmed at the time of this video, which means 3,000 videos divided by almost a year and a half worth of days is 5.46 videos per day that I'm using loom.com for. I cannot tell you how many meetings this has replaced for me and allows me to effectively articulate and visualize to my customers or employees what I'm trying to explain. It's a game changer. I highly recommend you use it and pay for it, but it is free. Moving on, tool number 14 is a nifty little plugin called GoFoP. Here it is. You add it to your Chrome extensions. And the main use case scenario for this is if you like a website, for example, this one here, Course Creator 360, my website, and you like this and you wanted to copy this design or get some inspiration from it and then send it over to a funnel builder or to somebody else to build. And you want to have that in a JPEG format. You cannot take a screenshot of this page here without taking 16 screenshots of the whole entire website. But if you use go full page, check this out here. You click on it. It's going to capture the entire website from top to bottom 
bottom, however long this page is, and then it's gonna give you a file like this. You can download this as a PNG file and you've got the entire website there. So a lot of use case scenario here, if you're a web designer, a funnel builder, or you just wanna grab this for later reference and screenshot the entire page, a great tool to do that. And to wrap this all up, the 15th and final top tool that I use that is absolutely free for you to use is our very own hook generator. This right here is a culmination of the last eight years of the marketing knowledge that I have of writing hooks. A hook is the first three to five seconds of your video, whether it be for YouTube, Instagram Reels, TikTok, wherever you make a video online, you have to have a good hook. And the reality is most of you just kind of suck at writing these, but that's fine. So this tool has two parts right here. Number one, it has a prompt that you're going to copy and paste into ChatGPT. I highly recommend you use this in tandem with ChatGPT, but because ChatGPT is paid, you can in fact just use this without it if you like as well. But what you do is you grab this prompt, you fill in all the spaces in red here with your market and your demographic, you come in the ChatGPT, you paste that prompt right here, and you come back here and you copy the top 50 most proven hook formats. It's almost impossible for you to go astray and write a very bad hook if you use these proven frameworks here. So right below that prompt, you paste those 50 formats, you paste it, and the rest is quite literally magic. You just watch this happen, and these are actually useful proven copywritten hooks. None of this AI garbage where you say, hey, write me 15 hooks because I'm a course creator. These are hooks that I personally use to write my own content. And one little side bonus hack when using this tool I give you that I love to use is I take these 50 hooks, I find, let's say the top three that I like, and I say, I loved formats number four, number 25, and number 37. And then I say this, give me 15 more hook ideas with those formats. Check it out. Come in here, format number four, 15 more really, really good options for my Instagram, for my YouTube, for my next course video, for the next ad that I run. Hooks are the lifeblood of your business. And again, you can download that for free. Go below this video. Let me know the best place to send it. And it's all yours. And with that, that is it for my top 15 most used free tools, downloads, plugins for course creators, online entrepreneurs, business owners. I use them every single week, some of them every single day. I hope you use them. I hope they change your life, change your business. I hope they help. I hope it transforms your productivity, helps you make more money, improves your quality of life and your business. And we'll see you guys in the next one.